Friday night, me and my buddy Mike, who is my best man, decided we were going to go out and see some music. And as he was going to the bathroom, there was this young lady, young beautiful lady that came around the other way, behind me. And so I was uh, gawking at her, waiting for her to get her get off her phone because she was just sitting looking at her phone, drinking her whiskey. And I said, uh, I was just kept on looking, 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 just so I could smile at her. And she finally looked up and I smiled and then she picked up her drink and walked right over, introduced herself, and we started talking. I could kind of, I started to get some hints that he was maybe into me. I, I went to the bathroom and when I came back, the only seat that was available was the one right next to Kat. <laughs> so I, that's when I was like, oh, okay, I think, I think maybe he might be a little into me. And we just kind of locked in and started talking and, and we had an amazing, amazing night. So that was the beginning. And the flowers. It's a beautiful so dress. Handsome. Thank you. My God, it's great. Yay. This is what we've been waiting for. I know. There's not a person that doesn't like Carmen. I mean, anybody who meets Carmen loves Carmen. That's all there is to it. There's hard stuff. They just, they don't, they love her because she's just such a sweet person and she's genuinely, genuinely sweet, right? So she's not fake sweet or anything like that. And so people just love her, you know, even with all, you know, she's got her quirks and just like anybody else does, you know, and uh, but, you know, no problem. Everybody loves her anyway. You know, you learn a lot about somebody when you're traveling with them and, and in those moments that we both, the things we love to do together. But I just, I loved his, like, scent. He was so in his element and just loving experiencing new things and new culture. And I think that was one of the moments when I, I knew that, you know, we were, we were really a good match because he could take things in stride and and see the beauty in things because he's a musician and he he has that kind of artistic bent to him and so I, I just I loved that he he soaked up all the culture and he he absolutely loved it and um, and he was along for the ride. They continued to have a good time, and then when everyone left, Kak and Carmen stayed and talked. Carmen was aware of their age difference and wondered, if I touch Kak, is that going to gross me out? <laughs> <laughs> but then she put her hand on his leg and she realized, no, this is a real connection here. They sat there, they talked, 
They closed down the restaurant. Kat took Carmen to her car, and then Kat asked her, are we going to kiss right now? And Carmen said, I don't know. <laughs> and then he leaned in and kissed her. funny that you said that's my best friend. It's very true. And it's interesting because I remember somebody telling me, when, you know, you got to marry your best friend. And I didn't understand it. I didn't quite understand what he was talking about. What do you mean? Do you mean? That seems a little weird. Why would you do that? You know? And sure enough, I mean, Carmen is definitely my best friend. You know? <laughs> 